Hey, hey, happy Saturday. You know, it's so interesting that like in our Western calendar, Saturday is like, you know, the start of the weekend and relax, but Saturday is actually ruled by Saturn and Saturn is the energy of productivity and it represents like, you know, getting stuff done. And so I have always felt like that, like Saturday is like my most productive day. And um, many years I owned, you know, gyms and Saturday at the gym is crazy busy and I always felt exhilarated. And so today you can tap into that Saturn energy and get yourself really focused and disciplined. And maybe there's like lingering projects that you've had throughout the week that you want to complete. And then you're like, but it's the weekend, so I'll just put it off. But why not just utilize the energy that's actually available to us as humans and scoop it up and benefit from it? So perhaps there's like a like something on your hell yes list that you really want to get done and you know you're going to feel like really good about yourself. So here is an exercise set. I love this set because it's actually, it's, a, it's an exercise sequence that's specific to women and I, I enjoy doing this. And it is also Mother's Day tomorrow. So what an awesome honor of, you know, being a mom and perhaps like getting shit done today and then basking in, in you know, your joy tomorrow. Kick up, have a mimosa, have a, have a tea, have a tea party, whatever it is that you're going to do. And just honor yourself and feel deeply um, nourished, but also just deeply like, yeah, you know, I... I I feel really good about myself. You get to command that inner authority, which is awesome. So this set is quite a few exercises and it may take you a little bit of time, but it's so worth it because it really brings you into resonance with your most radiant health. And who doesn't want that, especially right now? So each of these is actually like, a, it's a yoga pose or posture and you can hold any of them for up to three minutes. So the first one that I love to do is called camel pose. And I'm gonna be doing breath of fire, which again is in through the nose, out through the mouth very powerfully. And I, I usually do them with my mouth closed for these for this series. So the first one is camel pose, and it is simply you're gonna grab, if you can, back to your heels until you get a nice stretch. Head is all the way back, and you're, again, breath of fire and setting that timer for three minutes, up to three minutes. It's a pretty intense posture, but it really just gives your, your organs a big stretch. It increases your circulation. It's a glandular reset. It's wonderful. If you have trouble from here, you can always modify and do it from here. The next exercise is a uh, wheel. And again, you can modify here and do a bridge pose, but if you can do a full wheel, you want to come into hands behind your head and lifting all the way up. And again, just this beautiful stretch of your organs. It's a lymphatic flush. It's a chakra alignment. It does so much. And if you have trouble here, you can always come down and simply come into bridge pose where your hips are up and just getting that big stretch. So always a modification that can be done. I'm already feeling invigorated, which I love, and I'm about to do a big yoga uh, workout, so I'm excited about that. And the next exercise is shoulder stand, and you're gonna roll up, and you want to support your, see if I can get the angle here, support your back, and your head and neck are nice and relaxed. Your legs are straight, pointed upward. Your eyes can be closed. Again, breath of fire, up to three minutes. That's a good one. Again, great for the circulation. Next exercise is locust. And I find this to be so invigorating. It really does open you up. And it's like every, every muscle kind of starts to burn during this exercise. You're gonna lay on your belly. You're gonna take your hands, create two fists and place them right in between where your pelvis meets your thigh. And there's like a little notch in there. And you're gonna bring your head down so your chin is on the ground. This is a great way to anchor yourself as well. Chin to the ground. And you're really collecting energy from the Earth's electromagnetic field. And this is all about scooping up the energy of productivity of Saturn. So this is a wonderful posture. And from here, you're gonna lift the legs up as high as you can, keeping the knees straight and breath of fire. Your eyes can be closed, focus 
through your third eye point, again, helping with the productivity, you start to feel that nice burn. Good for the tushy, it's amazing. And the next exercise is just a relaxing posture. You can do child's pose, you could do um, corpse pose. It's really what you prefer. So I'm just gonna scooch in and slide in. So child's pose and just bringing the head down, palms together, head comes down, forehead pressed into the ground. And again, you're having a wonderful transfer here of electrons between ah, the earth and you and coming into center. And in this position, as you breathe breath of fire through the nose, you can set an intention for a magnificent and productive day and that it's with ease and joy that you get to create the self-discipline and inner authority you need in order to complete something that perhaps was on your list all week that you may feel is quote unquote hovering over you. So bring that into your mind's eye and then release it. Let go of any expectations around it and what it has to look like and how it's going to get done and dance in the joy of it. And that is a great Saturn day women's set. Three minutes apiece. It will invigorate you and happy early Mother's Day. Hope you enjoy. Peace out.